Yes, mi iPad. Lo llevo por todo el parte. Well, that's uh, the first mistake she made. She said, lo llevo por toda parte. And the right way to say it is. Hola, mis amores, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es María from the Una Spanish School. And today we're going to react to Jennifer Lopez. And we are going to see why Latinos pinpoint that kind of thing in her Spanish and say, oh, you see, you're not that Latina because you make these mistakes, you don't speak Spanish. I am going to give you a little of a context from a Colombian. That is, who's me? Uh, in Colombia, uh, it, nowadays things are a little different, but in the past, uh, we didn't have much immigration. It was just us, mostly all Colombians from like uh, sons and daughters from Colombians who were from Colombians and like older generations were Colombians. So it was very late in my life that I start to hear people saying, where are you from? And people will say I'm half Irish, half German, and but they're born in the States. So that was like very weird to me uh, because we are not used to understand or be educated around multiculturalism. Uh, it's not our, it's not a phenomenon that happens in our, our country as different from the States. So Jennifer Lopez is born in the States, surrounded by a very American uh, lifestyle, but from parents that were born in Puerto Rico and met in New York. So um, some people are saying, or some uh, Latinos, and I'm going to tell you, this is the Latino perspective. Don't consider other people, uh, people who were born in the States as true Latinos. Let's react to this video of Jennifer Lopez um, revela que lleva en su bolso en español Vogue México. Soy Jennifer Lopez y esto es lo que llevo en mi bolsa. Mi bolsa, ¿qué dice de mí? Pues enseña mi propio estilo en diferentes días. Tengo diferentes bolsas, <risa> tengo diferentes estilos y moods. Dice mucho de ti también lo que, que llevas adentro, lo que necesitas todos los días, muchas cosas. I think well, what I like about her, I can tell she has a little influence of the, the Puerto Rican accent in her. I can tell she has an American accent too. And I can see the, the, the confidence she's speaking with and the, the speed. It's actually very good speed. She's using very simple words and when she kind of forgets or she doesn't know what to say, she just completes with the simple sentences as, oh, muchas cosas, oh, bueno. So it's, I think it's a pretty good, confident attitude towards Spanish, and she has made no mistakes whatsoever so far. La primera cosa que voy a sacar de mi bolsa es mi iPad. Lo llevo por todo el parte. Well, that's uh, the first mistake she made. She said, lo llevo por toda parte, and the right way to say it is, lo llevo por todas partes. I think she is learning with a lot of Puerto Rican influence, but also with neutral accents. So she's mixing things. Puerto Rican accent has a tendency to just like avoid S in the end. Lo llevo por toda parte. Yeah, I guess I was, that, was, that was my try, okay? But at the same time, then she goes to a neutral accent in other words. So she's just, one thing is sounding Puerto Rican and the other thing is just avoiding S's and then not and then yes and then not. So it becomes a little, it comes up as a mistake. Tengo mis semelos ahí. Um, mucha gente trabaja con laptop, pero yo no. No sé por qué. Me encanta el iPad. Todo lo que hago, todos mis notes. Tengo todo organizado aquí en mi iPad. Todo mi texting, de todo. Everything. Mi bolsa es más pesado cuando estoy trabajando, cuando voy al set, tengo todos mis scripts, también cosas, libros y cosas así que estoy leyendo, haciendo research y cosas así. So, yeah, cuando estoy trabajando. Si fuera en una isla desierta, me llevaría. Okay, next mistake, let's hear that again. Uh, si fuera en una isla. That's interesting. So that's the mistake she made. Si fuera en una isla desierta. This is a common uh, beginner's mistake and it's mixing the ser and the estar. The right way to say it is si estuviera en una isla desierta. This is the subjunctive of the verb 
estar, si estuviera. Um, it's curious, that it comes across as weird because, um, I mean, they ask her questions. What I'm assuming is they ask her the question in um, English, but it, normally they should just ask the question in Spanish. Si estuvieras en una isla desierta. And then she has just to copy the structure of the of the question and answer with the same structure. Oh, si estuviera en una isla desierta. But some people do that. Some people listen to and understand and then just answer with a, a mistake. I have seen that when I teach. La desierta. Me llevaría en mi bolsa música, chicle. <laughs> but by the way, she keeps the structure in the same tense, thinks that is great because it means that she masters uh, the the subjunctive. Si estuviera en una isla desierta, llevaría. That's that's great that you uh, can conjugate and keep that same tense without maybe um, changing to some present uh, form that is kind of when you don't master it good enough, you just go and change. <laughs> una cosita para comer ahí también. Estoy viajando en avión o un día larga. Siempre. Again, mistakes with the, um, with the genders. Fair enough, because she said un día larga. And un día is uh, masculine, actually. <laughs> but you might think it's feminine because it ends with A. So it's un día, um, un día largo, actually. Siempre quiero tener um, una cremita para... Yeah, hidratante. Si podía meter a alguien... Again, that's when I'm like, oh, you were so good with the subjunctive. And then you just like, like, ah, too much work. I get it. It's, it's very weird, our subjunctive. Uh, so she, say, she said... Si podía... Si podía. And the right way to say this is si pudiera. Si pudiera. Mi bolsa para llevar conmigo todos los días sería mi esposo. She did it right. So si pudiera, I mean that little mistake. And then sería would be my husband. Sería mi esposo. Lo tiro ahí porque a veces se pasa todo el día y no como. Plan, no sé cómo le llamaron en México o en Latinoamérica, pero era un comedia romántica que yo hizo y eso es de esa película a veces llevo demasiado porque todos los días llevo un otro you know lápiz you know, y, y después de un tiempo tengo como 10 lápiz 10 lápices florals like so so far i would say mistakes from jlo are genders and and plurals i'm not Gender surprises me, but plurals not because I know it might be hard having Dominican influences that they avoid S's in the end. So it might be a little confusing just like, just like not knowing where to avoid them and knowing where to. So, um, and, and I'm very impressed by her subjunctive. So it's, she, I think she has done a great job. Siempre me falta en la bolsa una goma para poner un ponytail, para ponerme la, la coleta. Y siempre estoy buscando y no, nunca la encuentro. Nunca la encuentro. <laughs> final, por fin. I like what happened there. She said final, and she knows final is not really uh, a Spanish thing. So she's like, por fin. And she just changed it to the right way to say it. So proud teacher there. Para llamar a mis niños y mi esposo todos los días, haciendo mi texto, todo mi business, negocio aquí. Y esas son las cosas que tengo en mi bolso. Gracias, Vogue México y Latinoamérica. Eso es todo que llevo en mi bolsa. Uh, si quieres más, ver más videos, suscríbete aquí. That was great. That was very great. Like, I think she's fluent, honestly. I think people like to pick up on, on things. There is some bad taste for some Latinos when people change uh, the in between English and Spanish all the time. There is a little like a, ugh, right? I don't know why. But so uh, maybe that um, debate of is she really a Latina comes from this sort of, oh, I don't remember the word. I'm going to change to English. But um, I'm surprised. I think she's just pretty good. 
there are all other people who speak uh, like, you know, like Shakira, like she has, she makes no mistakes whatsoever. And she just speaks very fluent, very fast with a, an accent that sometimes changes in between Argentina and the Spaniard and, Co and Coast Colombia. So, but I think she made a great job. So what would I say as a teacher, uh, Jelo, your Spanish is great. I think it's very good. It's so normal that people just mix up subjunctive. That's the latest thing that one has to uh, master. It's hard to have uh, Dominican influences, like learning and then kind of try to navigate uh, when do you really need an S or, or the plural or, or the feminine and the masculine. So I understand all that. Uh, I, I I just think she's she has done a great job, honestly. What do you think, actually? You let us know in the comments. That's all I have to say. I think uh, it's been very interesting uh, reacting to Mrs. J-Lo. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. It has been uh, a pleasure, as always, to join you in this video and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.